Hi everybody. In this video tutorial, what I would like to do is to give you a demonstration of two different web pages that I created for two different properties. And I want to be able to demonstrate to you the differences in the way the pictures are shown in the, um, if you will, in the uh, web page listing that I've created for these properties. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to go up here so we start at a common area. I'm going to go to my dashboard so you know how I get here. I'm going to go to pages and then I'm going to go to all pages. And what we can do is we can see we can see the two pages that I've created. One is called 123 Main Street. I want you to notice that's the title of the page. And then the other one is 2795 Wentworth Road. And what I want to do is demonstrate to you the uh, how what you have to think about when you're designing a uh, a, a page, a web page. And uh, I'm going to go through here and just do a preview on this first one. I want you to notice that the you'll see that the 123 Main Street, that got put here because of the title of the web page. Down below here, you're going to see that there's a picture on this side. And if I scroll down here, you're going to kind of notice, if you look very carefully, there's a very faint line between here and here. It's very difficult to see in this particular mode, but basically what it is is that there's more or less a column that goes up and down here, and then there's a column here. So this is the way that the initial, if you will, WordPress website default web page is located. And the reason why they do this is so you can have content here, and then you can put other things, which we'll do in later tutorials over here, uh, such as uh, we can have links to your social media, things like uh, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn over on this side icon. So we'll talk about that later, but I want you to see that we have this on this side and this on this side. So it's like a two column web page where this column is wider and this column is thinner. Now as we go down here, you're going to notice that the photograph, and I'd like you to pay really close attention to this photograph, and the size of this photograph, the width is 571 pixels, in other words from here to here is 571 pixels. And then the height from here to here is 400 pixels. The reason why I'm mentioning this to you is that you want to get an idea of how big the pictures are that you're going to be creating to put on your website. You want to set a standard, if you will, so that when you take your photographs and you, for example, edit them and you're finally going to put them up on your website, that they're all always the same size. It makes the look and feel of how things work better. And a lot of people don't necessarily pay much attention to this, but if you're going to do any uh, page layout in Microsoft Word or any word processing document, you really have to think about things like how wide are my pictures, how big are they, how do I want the text? Do I want the text to wrap around the picture? Do I want it underneath the picture? Do I want a border on the picture? These are all things that you have to think about. The key thing here, though, is after you've gone through the time of doing this, the next time that you go to create a, a page for your, for example, for your new listings, it's just a matter of copying that page and then looking at it more or less like a template, just changing out the information. So as we go down from here, you'll notice that I have a brief description of the property. Down below here, we have some property details. And so that's one version of, of what the web page would look like. I want you to keep in mind, though, the distance between this black line here and this over here. Notice that there's a fairly wide gap because the next one that I'm going to show you is going to be, the picture is going to be wider than it is higher. This is more square kind of, where the other one will be uh, much more wider and uh, almost more like an HD type TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull that one up. And uh, that one is called uh, 2795 Wentworth Road. You'll notice that the picture again is, is uh, seems to be a lot wider than it is higher. The width of this is uh, 610 pixels from here to here, and the height of it is 366 pixels from here to here. Also notice, just like the other picture, that I have a border around the photograph uh, to kind of set it off so that it's not just blending into the background. Um, down below, again, I have text, and then I have details about the property. And what I'd like to do is go back in here for a minute 
and I want to show you what this looks like in the edit mode. So I'm going to go to the edit mode. And you'll see the picture looks kind of the same. One thing to keep in mind too is that you always are finding you're doing something in here and then previewing it. Doing something here, preview it because uh, you have to actually always test to see what it's going to look like on the web page that you're finally developing. It's just part of website design. Uh, sometimes you look at something here and the text will not be in the same location as the actual web page. And it's just the way, if you will, the way things are laid out. Now, if I scroll down from here, you'll see that we have text in here. So I could go in here and just edit this text if I wanted to down here and then you'll notice very carefully that right here you'll see that this right here this is all lined up but if you look really carefully it looks like a little faint line here around here and what this is is I'm putting all this information in a table so that things line up so this is a two column table that has one two three four five rows and the same functionality is in other programs like Microsoft Word it's just that a lot of people don't unless you're doing a lot of word processing, really don't get into how this really works. One more thing I wanna show you before we leave is that you may find that this box is a little bit hard to work in. You're scrolling up and down. You wanna see it, you wanna see it more, you know, the whole view of it's kind of. So if you go right here, move over this little thing and it says maximize. And when you do that, you'll notice that you're now running, you're editing in a more full page so that you can get things lined up. The other thing I want to mention too is you want it when you type your text make sure that it's remember the picture is is really telling us how wide the posting is going to be so you really want the text to be really laying underneath here not really going any further than the photograph itself. To go back to the other mode you just click the button and you're back in the other mode. So again uh, this gives you just a brief idea of how a web page looks, how it's laid out, and in the future tutorials I'll actually be showing you how to design your web page and put your photographs in from scratch. And uh, we'll be doing that uh, again in the next uh, tutorials. Thank you.